Okay, brilliant. So hopefully you can all see the slides that are up at the moment. So I'm really just going to spend um, five or so minutes just talking to you a bit about um, what we refer to as the Enliven Project. So the Enliven Project is a really large project. It's a three year project and it involves lots of different organisations and partner bodies. So it's based at the University of Exeter, but it also involves uh, universities and collabor collaborators from Hertfordshire University, Brunel, Manchester, uh, Bradford, and also um, Innovations in Dementia, which Steve will be able to tell you a bit about, and the Sensory Trust, which some of you may be familiar with already. And the aim of the Sensory Trust is to um, kind of help make nature spaces more accessible and meaningful to help improve people's health and well-being. So the Enliven project is led by Professor Linda Clare, who is a specialist in dementia research, and other members of the team specialise in lots of different um, kind of relevant aspects of ageing and dementia, um, but also um, we have experts who um, are specialists in connecting people with nature um, and in ensuring that the voices of people with dementia are at the heart um, of, the, of the research that's being undertaken. So really simply, Enliven is interested in what people with dementia and their families want to do when they go outdoors and also what could make that easier. Um, so the project is particularly interested in kind of going outdoors in nature um, and that might include spending time in your garden but it might also include um, things like going further afield and in just a moment I'll, I'll um, talk you through some of our partner organisations that we have on board um, to give you a flavour of the, the kind of scope um, and, and scale of the project. So one of the real core cool questions for the Enliven project is how can the places that you go or would like to go be made easier to visit? And we're really interested um, in your experiences. And the project as a whole um, asks, how can we help the people that run these places uh, make them easier to visit together? So I just want to spend a moment talking about um, kind of you know, why is this project taking place? Why, why enliven? And people with dementia say that nature really can help them in lots of ways. They say that they feel more engaged, more enthusiastic, more hopeful, more resilient, and better able to deal with challenges. And of course, this, um, this will be very specific to each individual. And, you know, we'd really love to hear um, from you about your experiences as well. Um, and what benefits um, you might have um, from doing the activity in nature um, that, that is something that you take pleasure from. So the tourism industry, um, just to give you a bit more context, um, has made some really um, key improvements and really progressed in uh, transitioning to become more dementia friendly. Um, and so have a number of heritage organisations. So I've just put up on the slides here a couple of images um, from some really key documents which are paving the way in helping to make um, heritage sites uh, more dementia friendly. So you probably can't see um, all of the icons um, that are on that image there, but um, the Rethinking Heritage Initiative involved um, organisations such as um, Kew Gardens um, and a range of very prominent museums um, and there's lots of really exciting work that is making these spaces more accessible um, for, for people with dementia. And what Enliven is doing um, is really trying to um, kind of take that a step further and think about well what about um, organisations and businesses that run the green spaces um, that we visit or might like to visit. So the project as a whole is working with lots of different um, organisations uh, which cover lots of different um, kind of nature sites and experiences. So just to give you a flavour, we have 
Um, we have a number of wildlife trusts on board. So these are organisations that manage uh, wildlife spaces where you might go for a walk um, in, in forests um, or you might go and kind of lick and spot some butterflies. Um, all the way through to some more specific activity based nature spaces. So we have some fishing businesses on board and some foraging businesses on board as well. Um, so there's lots of different organisations and businesses who are really wanting to learn how they can make um, the, the spaces that they provide access to more accessible and meaningful and pleasurable um, for people with dementia. And I've just included um, on the slide here, and um, so we have a, a newsletter and our very first newsletter went out um, about a week ago now. And a number of these organisations have provided us with some photos um, of the, the kinds of activities um, that they are uh, kind of running um, and also um, kind of, you know, thinking about what they could do more of um, to help kind of maximise the, the experience of, of people with dementia. Um, so, and this, so just to quickly, um, so we, we can see, for example, we have some specific um, activity based um, sessions going on, um, which are some of which are group based, some of which are more solitary. Um, and here we can see um, a, a nice example of a, a group activity. Um, and this photo was provided courtesy of disabled ramblers. So there's lots of ways that um, you could get involved in the project if, if you're interested in it. And we'd love to hear about your experiences. And um, if uh, you can also join uh, one of our teams of people with dementia who are helping to guide the work and also um, work with businesses and organisations to help make things easier. And this is something that um, Steve Milson will be able to provide you um, with some more information on if that sounds of interest. So we'd really love to hear from you. And um, so I We'll um, pull the slides down now and pass over to, to Steve to see if we can open up a bit of a uh, discussion about what nature might mean to you and, and your kind of experiences and aspirations going forward. 